Hey guys, Will Royal here. Today I wanna to show you how you can sell $380,000 in additional tickets to your next concert, music festival, or for your music venue. And this is a real case study. This is something we've done with, with a, a customer of ours. And before I get into the case study though, I wanna talk a little bit about sales in general and the insights that kind of lead to this thesis, right? Um, People buy from brands that they like and trust, right? And so the problem, though, that we have in this business is that when you're promoting a show, you don't necessarily have a relationship with the customers who haven't bought from you yet, who are interested in attending your show, right? You might have a relationship with past customers, but maybe not from you know, the revenue above and beyond. When you're trying to grow revenue and new customers, you don't have a relationship with those people yet. The other issue is that it's really hard to quickly build that relationship and build enough trust to get them to buy from you uh, and to cut through the advertising noise, right? If you think about a music festival, a lot of the lineups are very similar these days. These artists are touring all these different places. So why you? It's really hard to build that relationship. But the other thing you should know is that people also buy from people that they like and trust. In fact, they buy from people much more than they buy from brands. And that's why many companies have sales teams. Um, in our industry, you might call that sales team a brand ambassador team or street team. People have heard that before. Um, and, and these are the people that would be helping you to sell and move tickets. The problem in our industry is that it's really hard to manage and find trustworthy individuals who are going to take tickets that might be worth hundreds of dollars, not lose them, not lose the cash, and then you have to collect it. Um, and finding trustworthy people is very hard, right? The, the thing that you should know, though, is that it's easier to actually find a person who already has a trusted relationship with your buyer and potentially many buyers than it is to try to build that relationship from scratch one by one through your brand, right? And so if you can build and manage a team, your own little army of sales team, you can add hundreds of thousands of dollars in revenues. The challenge is how do you do that, right? Well, let's look at Backwoods. So Backwoods is a music festival that exists in Ozark, Arkansas in the central United States. And Backwoods actually went from a loss, managing their street team as a loss, to $380,000 in additional ambassador revenue. This is above and beyond the ticket sales from their website and other you know, advertising programs and things that they do to drive ticket sales. This is just street team revenue. So in 2015, they built a team of just 25 people, right? And they printed hard tickets. That's what most street teams do. They sell hard tickets. And they were valued about $250 a piece for this festival. It's a three-day festival. And they gave each team member 10 tickets, so a total of 250 tickets, and had them also post on socials and pass out flyers to generate awareness, right? So the results of that were that most people turned back into tickets and only sold a couple. You know, 42 tickets were missing. $10,500 worth of tickets missing, right? They only sold 33 tickets worth $8,250. So the remaining tickets were turned in, it resulted in a net loss of $2,250. That's after managing all of the time, energy, effort, finding the people, they lost money running the program. And it's a horrible brand experience. Think about uh, if you wanted to turn these 42 people away at the door because you didn't get money for it. You can't really do that because you don't know if those people actually gave the street team member money and that person just didn't turn it into you or you don't really know what happened with those tickets. So you kind of have to let these people in. So 2016 rolls around. Backwoods says, you know what? We're only going to do 10 people this year and keep it to the most trustworthy people. So the team is smaller, right? Easier to manage. We printed hard tickets. $350 includes VIP, right? Uh, they gave each team member 10 to 20 tickets, total 200 tickets, and had them also post on social flyer, social media and put, hand out flyers. Most people turned it back in. 20 tickets still went missing, $7,000 worth of tickets. 14 tickets were sold, $4,900. Net loss, $2,100. This is the second year in a row, almost the same loss as the first year. All this time, energy, effort, wasted. 2017, Backwoods did not host a festival because uh, they moved venues. But in 2018 and 2019, this is where we stepped in and really helped them get their team going with our software. So Backwoods built a team of 441 people that they've never even met 
So, you know, lowest on the trust scale, right? Um, but massive in size. Printed no tickets. So there's nothing to lose. Getting their money instantly, meaning that they were no need to collect cash. They were able to get paid immediately for tickets. No cash to get lost or not turned in. Backwoods could accept credit cards now and PayPal through these street team members. Each team member got unlimited amounts of tickets to sell because we didn't have to print tickets, right? So they had them post on social media and pass out flyers and the results were outstanding. So no loss of tickets, of course, no loss of cash because tickets weren't being printed, cash wasn't being uh, physically handled or turned in. $380,000 in added street team revenues. I'm gonna make that bigger, look at that. 22,291 social media organic posts created. This is not advertising. These are organic social posts. If you thought about what it would take to pay for those organic posts and what the impressions of those posts, uh, that would be in the millions, right? And, and you'd be paying a ton of money. This is a lot of value from the street team member. 10,757 photographic proof you know, photos of flyering activity. They distributed 120,000 flyers, right? And, and actually the street team members were proving that they were, that they were passing them out. And so this led to the most profitable year ever for Backwoods in 2018 and the highest revenue ever in 2019 for the festival. And they did this with 5% commission. So it only cost them $19,000 to generate that $380,000. Do the math on that, that's an ROI, 2,000%, that's 20X return on your money, right? 20X return on your money. This was the best performing campaign for Backwoods out of all the things that was done to sell tickets. So let's hop over to the software. I just wanted to show you, these are real numbers, right? $380,000 sitting in their account. I wanna show you the chart real quick because this is important too. Do the timeline back to the original date, and you will see. Okay, so you can see that the, the ambassadors, the street team members, were selling tickets leading up to the 2018 event, right? In 2019, Backwood sold even more, right? We talked about that. That's because they started earlier, so they've got an even longer sales cycle. They were able to drive more revenue over a longer period of time. And you can see the gap here between when that festival took place and when the ambassadors started selling, they're already ramped up, they already know what they're doing, right? Even shorter here than it was the year before. So this timeline would be even longer. And this is this coming festival and they're on their way to selling more than they've ever sold before. So if we look over here at the street teams, you'll see 441 total members. This is automatically recruiting for them. This software is automatically, in fact, look, it says new member request. There's already somebody waiting to be approved in the account to start selling tickets for this festival. People are begging to sell tickets to the festival for them. So you can see through all these people, look, Rogers, Arkansas, Oklahoma City, Arkansas, Austin, Texas, right? Bentonville, Oklahoma City, Denver, Colorado. These, these are people all across the country, uh, mostly in the middle of the United States, but they are selling tickets for Backwoods. And you can see um, the people and who they're selling. Look at this person, Ricky Hong, $28,000. see if that says that. $28,394.98 worth of tickets sold for Backwoods by this one street team member. This is somebody that Backwoods doesn't have to talk to, uh, you know, doesn't have to generate um, uh, or collect, excuse me, uh, cash from, doesn't have to generate printed tickets and give them to them. And this person is selling tickets for the festival. 8,200 for that event, 1297 for that event, et cetera, right? So the, this system here is managing everything, the promotion, you can see what they're doing, they're inviting their friends on Facebook, they're handing out posters, flyers, you know, this system is managing this entire thing for them and it's generating real results. $380,000 in additional tickets generated through an ambassador street team. Guys, I hope you like this video. I would love to show you exactly how this would work for your company. Leave a comment, check us out below. Um, I'll see you in the next video, thanks.